Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Forge in Minecraft 1.17.1. Now I know it says 1.16.5 here, but that's because the video you're watching right now is going to go right here on this page once it's done. And it's not done because I'm recording it right now, so just ignore that. This is for 1.17.1. We're going to show you every single step of downloading, installing, and setting up Forge in 1.17.1. And even down to how to fix some of the issues you may have when installing Forge along the way. First and most though, what if you want to start a Forge or modded Minecraft server? Well, the best way to do that is with Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually haven't just Apex so much that we have our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, whether it's modded, whether it's not, that is completely up to you. Go check out Apex at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex and get your server up and running. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and jump into getting forged though. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our website where you can actually see a text tutorial for install Forge goes through all the different uh, things you'll have to do and we'll be going over in this video. Sometimes people like to go through these at their own pace and this tutorial here can allow you to do that if the video is not your style. Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on this green download Forge button. That's going to take us off to Forge's official website where we can see MC 1.17.1 is right here. If MC 1.17.1 isn't right here, what you want to do is come over here to the left hand side, click on the plus 1.17 and then select 1.17.1 until you do see it here. Then you want to come under download latest and click on the installer button. And then go ahead and take us off to add focus. We're stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. I said stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Once you land on add focus, do not click anything except the red skip button that appears after about five to 10 seconds in the top right of your screen. See this red skip button up here? That's the only thing you wanna click on this page, period. Once you click that red skip button, Forge will download in the bottom left. As long as it has Forge in the title there, you can go ahead and keep it. Now on Mozilla Firefox, it'll actually download in the center of your screen or you will need to save the file on Mozilla Firefox. You need to keep it like we just did on Google Chrome. Save it on Mozilla. Firefox. Again, though, as long as it has Forge in the title, you are 100% safe. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on my desktop, I do have Forge 1.17.1. This isn't on your desktop. It's going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little Windows icon to the top or bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. And in here, you will find Forge. Drag Forge to your desktop just for ease of use. Once Forge is on your desktop, we're going to go ahead and open it. Now, first thing I do want to mention right up front before I even get into any more of the tutorial, if your logo here is different from mine, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix it later. But you still may be able to install Forge even if it is. So let's go ahead and right click on Forge here, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, what do you do? Well, if you don't have Java, you want to go ahead and go to the description down below and go here. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft servers and Minecraft mods. Obviously, Forge is a Minecraft modification, so you will need this version of Java to be able to install it. For example, if you are getting an error when installing Forge, most likely you do need this version of Java, Java 16. Forge requires Java 16 these days, so this is what that's going to be getting you. This is going to get you Java 16, not the old version of Java, so make sure you go through this tutorial if you're having issues with installing Forge. Now, if your logos are still different or you're still having issues after installing Java, you can run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them to Java. That's going to fix the logos and things like that, and it is a good thing to do if you are still having issues after installing Java. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, right click on Forge, Forge, click on open with, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the mod system installer for Forge, where all you want to do is click on install client and click OK. It's now going to download, set up, do some things, basically get everything it needs to get done done for Forge in Minecraft 1.17.1. Going through it, it's doing it, as you can see, it's moving, it's downloading, it's setting things up, it's getting like classes added, it's getting models added, block states, everything is getting added. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick jump cut until this is finished, and I'll meet you once it's done. By the way, if it freezes like it just don't worry about it, that's completely normal. It may even freeze at 100%, that is also completely normal. There we go, as we can see, successfully installed Client Profile Forge version 1.17.1. Awesome, that means we're done, we have been successful. Now, if for whatever reason you don't have success here, most likely it's one of two things. The first is you don't have Java 16. So go to that Java link we have in the description down below, install that, and then come back here and it might work. The other reason is if you've never played Minecraft 1.17.1 before. If that's the case, go play Minecraft 1.17.1 with no mods or anything else, come back to the installer, and then you'll be able to basically install Forge without a problem. Now we can go ahead, once you do have successfully installed Client Profile Forge, and click OK. Now let's go ahead, we can delete this Forge from our desktop, we don't need it anymore. Now what we do need to do is open up the Minecraft Launcher. By the way, if you can't 
delete force from your desktop, don't worry, after you close Minecraft later on, you'll be able to. Now when I open up Minecraft here, I automatically have Forge selected down here. If that's the case for you, go ahead and click play and click play again. You're just confirming you know you're playing modern Minecraft here. Well, if you don't have Forge here, well, go ahead and click the little arrow to the left of the play button and select it from this list. But Nick, it's not even in that list. Well, in that case, what you want to do is click on installations up here at the top. Once you're on the installations tab, you want to go ahead and make sure this modded button is checked in the top right. You can see I unselected modded there. Forge went away. It's no longer there. Well, let's go ahead and click it again and Forge will reappear. We can go ahead and click play. But if for whatever reason you still don't have Forge here, very unlikely these days, honestly, but sometimes it does happen enough that I still include it. Go ahead and click the new installation button. Then you want to go ahead and name this play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because this is our own incredible 1.17 grief protected survival server. It is absolutely amazing. Come play with us. We have custom quest, an amazing balanced economy. We have aquatic survival with a slash shot based economy, medieval survival with a player based economy, awesome rewards, amazing quest. You will love it. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. 1.17.1 medieval survival. Nevertheless, let's go ahead, click the drop down under version here, and then we want to click release 1.17.1 dash forge. You have to scroll down and wait to find yours, but mine's right here at the top. Release 1.17.1 dash forge. Now that's the most important part. As long as it says 1.17.1 dash forge under version, you can go ahead and click create. I am going to go ahead and change my resolution, but that's just so we can see once we get in game. You don't have to do that. Let's go ahead and click the green create button. And now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Most importantly though, it says 1.17.1 dash forge under. So we can hover over that, click the green play button. It's going to open up the basically kind of warning here saying, hey, you're about to play modded Minecraft. That means it's not necessarily supported by Mojang. Do you know you're playing modded Minecraft? Yeah, yeah. We know that, so let's go ahead and click I understand the risk and click the green play button. Now, Minecraft 1.17.1 is going to open up and we're gonna be good to go, right? We are good to go, Forge is installed. I would love to be able to run this live, but for some reason, my computer's been lagging when opening Minecraft while recording recently, so I am going to do a quick jump cut. Now, I am gonna show you that once you see what like, it's gonna look like here, but if there is any like frame dropping, I apologize. So, here we are. We are now opening this up. I'm sure there's been frame dropping. I apologize for that. The editor, or our editor, absolutely hates because this is happening. We do have a new PC on the way, but things are back ordered months, honestly, at this point. So, nonetheless, we're sitting here. We're waiting. I'm talking through the lag, but I don't think we're lagging anymore. But it's very common, by the way, for like this to happen, this freezing to happen. If that happens, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. Forge has kind of changed how it's loaded these days. You don't see as much going on, which I personally don't like, but it is what it is. Once we're here, though, we can definitely see in the bottom left we do have Forge installed. We also have the award warning Forge beta. Forge is in beta at the time of recording this. Forge came out like last night at 2 a.m. So that's why that is. It's brand new. And then we can go ahead and click on mods here. And this is where normally you would find any mods you have installed. So that's it. That's how you can install Forge in Minecraft 1.17.1. If you want to learn how to add mods to Minecraft 1.17.1, check out the video that is on your screen right now, as well as in the eye at the uh, top of the screen and in the description down below. So that is a video on how to add mods to Forge once you have Forge installed. Go check that out. I'll record that right after this. Kind of basically pick up right there on the next video for you. But uh, yeah, go check that out. See how to install mods using Forge once you have it installed. Thanks so much for watching. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.